Yeah, I, I remember, recall, when I was a little boy in the village, I was quite an obsessed case with the instrument. It was rare to see a little boy just obsessed with uh, an instrument that's dated and out of style and not popular anymore. But I, I was fascinated by how it's made and I had one that was given to me by my father, which used to belong to his grandfather, his father, my grandfather, who died when I was four. I still remember the funeral. And uh, so I had that mirror and I carried it with me everywhere. I was popular at school, primary school with that mirror, in high school with that mirror. And when I was 19, I left the village, went to the city in Harare. And a month later, I had to go to Copenhagen to represent Zimbabwe. So it was my magic wand. But, uh, you know, I didn't only want to play uh, traditional stuff all the time. I wanted to experiment and uh, play something that's not uh, traditional. So this song, Mabuku Tafara, which I wrote when I was like 25. So it's not contemporary anymore because you're like 45 now. <laughs> <laughs> So it's an old song, it's a traditional song. <laughs> okay, okay, this is a traditional piece called <laughs> Mabuku. <laughs> Feel free to, um, you know, move your, your toes, you know, from where you are, you know. I, I don't know what the restrictions are. We, we can't dance. They're, they're allowed to dance, sure, if they want to get yeah. down there. This, this is too cool to just sit and enjoy. You, you, you tell. <laughs> Oh, 